Just a quick one, guys, before we do get into today's video, we have dropped our August Liverpool t-shirt collection. We've got the Liverpool fans tees, along with the Liverpool Capital Trophies t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copbikeclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the summer transfer window, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please consider doing so, and in return we'll keep you on the straight and narrow with everything in regards to Liverpool Football Club this summer and beyond into the new season. Guys, I'm sorry for my background, long story short, my flight got cancelled this afternoon uh, and basically uh, they put me in a hotel and my flight out tomorrow is tomorrow morning so we will be back to the normal sort of studio setup tomorrow but for the OGs a random background. Anyway guys I do bring you a video as I said the show goes on despite my background and with good reason because Fabrizio Romano has provided some massive Liverpool transfer news for you tonight of which we're going to be discussing in today's video. Now the transfer situation has been ongoing, the transfer saga has been ongoing with regards to Liverpool's defense or pursuit for a defensive midfielder. It got messy, I'm not going to go over it too too much, but basically we missed out on Moises Caicedo, and we missed out, of course, on Romeo Lavia, who was a target that we were pursuing for much of the transfer window, certainly over the last couple of weeks. Now, in the fallout of that, we've sort of brought you names that Liverpool could maybe pursue over the next couple of weeks with regards to the, that position. However, nothing has really come from, and nothing really concrete has sort of emerged, apart from maybe Andre, but that was a couple of weeks ago. Now, I did say recently, after that Romeo Lavia fallout. I did say that the situation will likely be resolved this week. And now we have got some huge news from Fabrizio Romano with regards to our new potential defensive midfielder. Now, most of you probably have never heard of him. I certainly didn't know much about him. However, I have dug in a little bit and I'm here to bring you the news. He basically provided us an update with two, okay? So I'll go through the one that is concrete first. He said, Liverpool have submitted an official bid to sign defensive midfielder Wartaru uh, Endo. Negotiations are currently ongoing with Stuttgart. Um, well, there you go. Liverpool submitted a bid, an official offer for the player. He's a Japanese international, currently capped 50 times. And as he said, plays for German side or Bundesliga side Stuttgart. Before that, played much of his career out in Japan. Um, played a good few appearances over, well, he's been at Stuttgart since 2019, where he initially joined on loan. He is 30 years old. He's fairly versatile. He can play as a defensive midfielder and a centre-back. Um... Again, as I said, most of his career was spent really in the Japanese J-League uh, and now, of course, been spending the last sort of three or four seasons out in the Bundesliga. So a decent standard. But if you do know much about German football, Stuttgart are kind of always a bit of a yo-yo team within the Bundesliga and Bundesliga 2. So he did start out in Bundesliga 2, but over the last three seasons, he has been playing in the top flight of German football. Now, as I said, Fabrizio Romano has stated that the club have submitted an official bid. And as I said, talks are currently ongoing um, in, in terms of a fee. I'm not sure. But would this be a player that would um, satisfy Liverpool fans entirely? Probably not. As I said, he's a good player. But the question is the age. Uh, but definitely one for a stopgap or perhaps a stopgap. But certainly, I don't think Liverpool fans will be completely satisfied with just having the one signing of Endo. They maybe want Endo and somebody else. Now, that brings me to the other news that Fabrizio Romano has stated also this afternoon or this evening, literally break it this, tonight. Sorry, I keep forgetting what time it is. It's currently 8.30 p.m. in the UK. Um, but as I said, what despite the... the uh, the one round endo that the club have submitted a bid for him. Negotiations are currently ongoing with Stuttgart. He also spoke about Amrabat as well. Liverpool are now informed of Sofian Amrabat. Um, as AD reported, no formal bid made yet. Just contact to be f informed on conditions of the deal. No decision made just yet. Liverpool are still exploring the market to pick a new D favorite DM. That's what came first. And then literally after that, 
uh, moments later, pretty much half an hour later, he did bring the exclusive stating that Liverpool had submitted a bid to sign Japanese midfielder Wataru Endo on a permanent deal. Negotiations ongoing with Stuttgart. Player wants the move as it's the biggest opportunity of his career. Uh, surprising a move by Liverpool director Schmatka. So, of course, he does know a lot about the Bundesliga. That's his sort of niche, if you like. Um, but... Again, big, big news this evening or tonight as Liverpool have submitted a bid for a defensive midfielder. Now, do we need to cue the whole thing about Chelsea? Probably going to be signing Endo now. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully Liverpool, if they've identified this as a target, then we get behind the signing. As I said, I'm not going to come on here and sit around and say I know a lot about the player. I don't watch an awful lot of German football, maybe bar a few games a season, whether that be like the sort of um, a classical derby between Dortmund and, and Bayern or the odd Bayern game if it's on TV. But I certainly don't sit around watching Stuttgart play. So I'm not going to sit here and kid you on that I know anything about him. Um, I don't. And I'm learning as the sort of this sort of uh, link goes on but I'll try and come to you tomorrow with a bit more of uh, information with regards to the player as only has only just broken um, and as I say I will do a deep dive into the player tomorrow in tomorrow's video and we can discuss uh, what he's all about but as I said, maybe he can hit two birds with one stone. As I said, he does play uh, that versatile role. He can play as a defensive midfielder and a centre-back. Um, but certainly, um, I do think, yes, could be a good signing. Again, I'm not going to BS you. I haven't watched them play, so I don't know if it's a good signing. Maybe I'm just uh, going by what other people are saying and what other people have said and what some stuff I've seen on YouTube. Um, but... Certainly, I would probably say that Liverpool do need another player to whet in the appetite of Liverpool fans as well. So two defensive midfielders and a centre-back. But at least the club are making moves. And um, yeah, it does look like Endu is going to be the player that's going to be the third summer signing for Liverpool Football Club. 30 years old, plays for Stuttgart, Japanese international, 50 caps and over 100 Bundesliga games um, for Stuttgart. In fact, 99 uh, Bundesliga games. He did play about 21 games out in Bundesliga 2. So uh, there you go. <clears throat> Over to you, Label Ball fans. What do you think with regards to this one? Are you satisfied or would you be satisfied with the signing of Endu? And what do you make of the sort of other news with regards to Sofyan Amrabat? What was if it was Sofyan Amrabat and uh, Endu, would you then be satisfied with Liverpool's transfer window? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the old comment section below. That, of course, does bring us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.